Hi, this is Belinda and welcome to Renovate, the show where we help needy families renew, rebuild and revitalize their homes. Madame Fu's world fell to pieces after she came down with a series of medical issues and her grandmother had had to move to a nursing home. It was not that cluttered, but because when I was so, so depressed and stressed up with all my challenges that I just didn't bother anymore about what's going on in the, in the house. After her grandmother's passing in 2016, Madame Fu couldn't bear staying in the flat. Without proper care and maintenance, conditions in the flat only got worse. Oh, wow. And even the toilet bowl, as you can see, the flushing system is filled with more old newspapers. Everything has fallen apart. Years of neglect and hoarding have made conditions in Madame Fu's flat unlivable. She hopes to return to the home that she has shared with her grandmother. So now, she's finally taking steps to clear out the cluttered flat. Let's see how we can help her rebuild her life and reclaim her space. Madame Fu had previously gone through 10 decluttering sessions with help from social workers and church volunteers. She has already sorted out what is to be kept or thrown. So it's been easy for our volunteers to move and pack. We need to clear out most of the flat so that our contractors can get right down to work. In one and a half hours, we did not only pack her things into the boxes, but we have also removed all her trash. All her trash. Oh, da, can you yeah. come here? Yeah. Thank you so much for everything. Yeah. I want to cry, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, I want to cry not because, you know, of, of how cluttered this house um, was. I want to cry because I'm just deeply moved by my volunteers. Actually, the, the, the things are well packed, so we just have to uh, waste some time to sort out the things yeah. and uh, move to the dumpster. That's all. Yeah. I think it's mean, not, not, not that difficult. It's not that difficult. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just don't open the fridge, that's all. That's all like, oh, the fridge. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fortunately, we have managed to get Madame Fu's belongings packed and ready to go before our professional movers swoop in to finish the job. While renovations get underway, our interior designer and I need to get shopping. Quite a few mattresses, huh? Which one are you looking at? This is one of four stars, um, top model. Yeah, it's very nice and soft. Mm, it's made of tensile fabric. Oh yeah, I love tensile fabric. I've been using it for many, many years. You know, I think tensile is really, really good for sensitive skin. Mm. I think what is most important is it's eco-friendly. Yeah. It also have, comes with memory foam. Oh, memory foam as well yeah. to kind of remember your posture. Correct. It's got a topper. The topper is great for us. Yeah, but I think for Madame Fu's condition, it might not be so ideal because she's got back problems. We see a variety of mattresses here, from those made with natural latex to ones with anti-static and cooling properties. We just need to find a firm mattress that can help with Madame Fu's back issues. Take a look at this. Yes. Oh, it's so nice. This feels very cold and nice over here. It's perfect for Singapore. <laughs> so what other features do they have? The mattress is designed in three zones for optimal support. Oh, wow. Three-zone support, meaning it gives optimal support the from back. the head to the back, back to the legs. Oh, perfect. Do you think this mattress is going to be good for Madame Fu? We can take a look at all the range of the mattress before we decide. Sure, no problem. These mattresses are all good, but I think Roy has something more specific in mind. Melinda, try to take a look at this. Oh, this one? Mm. It's made of uh, high-density foam. 
oh. is actually very helpful for old people with back pain and back issue. Oh, mm. really? It also comes with uh, anti dust mite and antibacteria. Oh, that's fantastic. Actually, when I sit on it, I feel that it's a lot firmer, a lot more compressed. A lot lower. But it does uh, help uh, with Madam Fu mm. getting on and off the bed easily. I see. Yeah, the height does play a part, yeah. I think this mattress is the perfect fit for Madam Fu. Yeah, I think so too because this mattress feels the firmest of all the three. Mm. Yay, we found it! Perfect! Next on our checklist, new kitchen appliances to replace Madam Fu's old and damaged ones. We need to prep her kitchen for her dream home-based cooking business. Belinda, this looks very special. Look at the pot holder. Yeah, it's not bad. It's the usual ones are just mm. like that, right? Yes, this one correct. looks more like a flower. Yes. Is there a special function to this or is it just a design? It's more stable and then this material is using cast iron. Oh, yes. okay. Some of this model, the special, the, they have an inner fire. Mm -hmm. The heat distribution would be more even. Yep. Ah, I see, I see. Before that, it was just so dark and gloomy, right? And the windows are finally opened. Wow. Hours, we did not only pack her things into the boxes, but we have also removed all her trash. Madam Fu had previously shared some memories of her grandmother's cooking with me. She had hoped to set up a home-based cooking or baking business and showcase her grandma's culinary legacy. This means making over the kitchen with the right appliances is one of our priorities. Are we looking at this one? Yep. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah, we're looking at this fridge. Um, can you tell me what's the latest refrigeration yeah, sure. technology? Okay, Electrolyte is using Nutrifresh Inverter technology. So, Nutrifresh Inverter, you can keep your veggie, your fruits, more longer days and more fresh. And then they're using 360 degree airflow. You're brought from the side weight, so all the cooling will be more even. What is the energy consumption for this model? Okay, okay. energy consumption will be three ticks, $85 per annum. Let's look at yeah, other sure. models, shall we? It has been suggested that a full fridge is more energy efficient than an empty one. So, a smaller model should do. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good size for Madam Fu. She's staying alone, okay. so for a single lady, it should be enough. It has been over a week since renovations got going. Though the old fixtures have been hacked out, they have not been replaced yet. But Roy assures me that he will be able to hand over a completed flat in another 10 days. How's everything? On the living room side, uh, it's like 50% done. Still very raw, huh? Yeah, actually the electrician all, all done up with it. The layout as in remove everything for right. the plastering job. Wow, it's actually quite spacious. <laughs> Sorry, up, up I didn't have a chance to see the room yeah. for the actual size because you know it was just cluttered with things, right? Okay. So it's the first time that I see that okay. it is completely empty and it. Carpentry is being done off site, so all I can see now are the replastered walls. Let's look at the other room. Okay. Great, and I see that there's something different here. I shifted the bathroom entrance to the oh. right side. Oh, so this is the. New wall. Yes, correct. Ah, I didn't even notice the original colour of the house was actually pink. Wow, okay. Uh, well, I, I can see that your, your people are working very hard because yes. we don't have much time. Is it just me or is, is, it, is the toilet originally that small? Yes. Unfortunately, we have everything squeezed inside that one small little toilet. I hope that it would help her. Um, to manoeuvre easily because now that the entrance is right here. I am glad to know that the wet areas of the flat have undergone waterproofing. I remember Madame Fu sharing that she had not used the toilets here because water leakage had affected her neighbour living downstairs. Now, that's been addressed. Wow. 
I hack down the, this wall for right. to easy maneuver around. Right, I see. And also ventilation. And there's more light penetration as well. Before that, it was just so dark and gloomy, right? And the windows are finally opened. The main drain pipe yeah. was just eroded to, to the extent that it just <laughs> holds everywhere already. Really cannot keep yeah. anymore. Cannot keep, have to change. I know that you have a very short time to renovate the house. I can see that you've been using a lot of time and effort to renovate the house inside out. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm so excited for Madam Fu and I'm supposed to visit her tomorrow at the hospital for some photo taking session. Unfortunately, I, I just got informed by my producer that she is not willing to see anyone at all. Not even me. This season, Renovate has arranged for all our beneficiaries to have a professionally taken portrait as a memento of their transformative journey with us. But for Madame Fu, the timing is just not right. She's emotionally feeling very down and out, and she's not ready to see anyone at all. I have no chance to meet her in person to tell her the progress that's happening at the house right now. So I just wish and I pray that she will get better very, very soon. I'm meeting Madame Fu's medical social worker, Joanne. I hope she can help me get a better beat on what's happening with Madame Hi, Fu. How are you doing? Basically, right after discarding the items, yeah. uh, she experienced a sense of loss. Mm. So usually the development of sense of loss is actually commonly seen among the people who have hoarding behaviours. Right. So Madame Fu wants to deal with all the uh, difficult emotion alone, quietly. So that's why she not very keen to be filmed, yeah. So how are you guys helping her to cope with the sense of loss right now? So other than um, the physiotherapy session and all the physical help that we keep providing to her, we definitely also give her a, a space, a private space for her to vent, for her to express herself, be it cry or like, you know, anything, everything, yeah. So that uh, she can at least uh, feel relief a bit throughout the stay over here. Can I ask, uh, is she coming home or not? I see the resilience. She's trying to cope with the difficult emotions at the moment. Madam Fu wants to deal with all the uh, difficult emotion alone, quietly. So that's why she not very keen to be filmed, yeah. Today is the day of the reveal. It's time to clean up the house and welcome Madam Fu home. So you guys ready? Yeah! <laughs> Let's go, come. Our team of volunteers are making sure everything is in move-in condition so that Madame Fu won't have to worry about cleaning up the flat all by herself. What we saw the other day was a big mess. I thought not just the place was so bad, but that she was so stuck all alone. That made me very sad. I think today is a complete makeover. I hope when she see, open the door, she will like, wow! We saw so much transformation. So nice, 101% different. I'm ecstatic to learn that Madame Fu is downstairs waiting. Wow, she looks like she's all geared up to return home. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Madame Fu. Welcome home. Wow, so pretty. For Madame Fu, the change in her home starts at the doorstep. The steps have been tiled over. The door, gate, and windows have also been replaced. Madam Fu, as you can see, the window we actually frosted for yeah, you as well, right? Yeah, So when you dance in your house, yeah, nobody, can uh, see. Like, nobody will know. Yeah. Nobody can see. Like, there's a lot of privacy. Yeah, Are you go, ready go, to go, go in? Yeah. One, two, three. Wow, this is a hotel. <laughs> Amelia's hotel. 
Madam Fu, you actually mentioned that you, you travel the world, yeah. then after that, we actually get the pictures for you. Thank yeah, you so, so whenever you come home, you feel like you have entered into Paris. You like it? <laughs> yes, very, very nice. Okay. Yeah. The light pastel colours in the living area help to create a soothing ambiance. We've also created a cosy corner just so Madame Fu can wind down and admire the view from her flat. Because I think I know outside your house you've got lots of plants as well. Is it King Kwa? Is it? Yeah. So we can open the windows and just chill over here, have a cup of coffee. You like reading. So we hope that this could be a nice reading corner for you. Yes, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. See on top? Yeah. This so crystal beautiful. ball. Yeah. Wow, the fridge is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> you like the fridge? You I like to go inside there myself now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can go touch it. It's your fridge. My turquoise colour. He remembers that's your favourite colour. And turquoise with hint of gold, yeah. you know, it kind of adds that sophisticated sure. look, elegant look. Yeah. Right, your taste is very good. You're so good. good. You want to check out, you say we got you yeah, the rice cooker, yeah. the kettle, the, you know, the mixer. Okay. So you can actually do your baking, yeah. your cooking, wow. your induction. Whoa! This one is like, this is ventilation. Oh, like, ventilation. you know, this for oh, suction. Okay. Madame Fu's laundry needs are also addressed with the installation of a new washing machine. There is storage for detergents and cleaning supplies and ample space here for her to sort through her wash clothes. Do you have your, your, the pain in yeah. your leg? Yeah. So sometimes it's very, very difficult to manually do it. So that's why we got you this automated laundry system alone can hang more than 35 kg worth of clothing. No more squat toilet in this home. The tiles in the toilets have undergone anti-slip treatment, so Madame Fu won't have to worry so much about treading on wet floors in future. Wow, hello. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> so oh, my wardrobe. You want to tell her why did you do this design? Just do to, yeah. uh, at least I do, uh, design, do, yeah. do some uh, different sure. thing uh, for you. That's right, yeah. Though this room is designed to be Madame Fu's study, Roy has installed an additional wardrobe. In the event that she needs to rent out the room, she doesn't have to spend money buying a new closet. This is the, the, the warmest, like in terms of the colour, it's softest. Then if you want to do study, like you want to do reading or whatever, we can have the bright white light for you. Wow! Hello, my pink bra, my pink mattress, my pink. The master bedroom is all pretty in pink, with a memento from Madame Fu's past. Oh, hang up for me, thank you. Yeah, this is a last minute yeah. find, like uh, minutes before you came into the house. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then we got our volunteers, yeah. you know, to hang up painting you. for you. How do you how do you like it? Yeah, it's very good. It's comfortable, like huh? Yeah, are you happy with the mattress? Yeah. Yes. Happy with I'm the so room? I'm so happy. I cannot sleep tonight. <laughs> so fierce, right? Yeah. Okay, you ready to look at the yeah. bathroom? Yeah. Okay, come. The master bedroom toilet may be small, but it is packed with all the necessary fixtures Madame Fu needs. We have a chair yeah. for you. We've got the water heater yeah. for you. Um, the mirror that's also tiltable, yeah. and of course we have this grab bar yeah. uh, on the side. Yeah. It's, it's very well done. I don't yeah. expect this. Yeah, I can rent out this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, shall we head over to the yeah. living room and yeah. just hang out? Yeah. When Madame Fu was once a hoteler, she has great taste in designs. I was concerned if whether I am up to her standards. Yes, I do have a sense of achievement. Ah, <laughs> I want to be able to sit back yeah, and relax. That's right. How are you feeling right now? You seem very happy. Yes, I am. It's beautiful. Uh, I don't expect a five-star hotel. 
<laughs> Which part of the house of the house do you like most? I like the kitchen most. Oh, because? Because of all the appliances, the way it's designed. Yes. Yeah, and of course I like the living room with the rocking chair. The design is is tailored to my requirements because yes. of my back pain and all that. Wow, this is the hotel, Amelia's hotel. So the whole walkthrough was very, very successful. She didn't dislike anything. In fact, um, she loved every part of the house, which was a big relief. Wow, the fridge is gorgeous. <laughs> this is my biggest, biggest satisfaction, to see that she has managed to come home with a big smile on her face.